Yo brother, it's time for us to start talking the real man. We've been sugarcoating too much, we've got to start calling everything out for what it is. Hey guys, I'm on my second uh, major ride with the uh, S16 of any distance. I'm uh, going to Roger's place. Roger of uh, all things uh, charging and uh, export rider and um, <laughs> all around great guy for the UC world. So, um, I need a way to fast charge this S16 because I don't like to wait around anymore for uh, charge, you know, hours to charge, particularly if I want to take the wheel someplace where I'm going to have to charge. And uh, Roger has made me an adapter cable so I can use one of his uh, fast chargers to charge this guy up. And I'll tell you more about that when I get to his place. But I'm going about a I think uh, I think Google says it's a 22 mile ride to his place and uh, so I'm gonna go there and uh, get the cable and uh, we'll use one of his chargers to charge the wheel up it's based on my last run which you saw I did uh, it was about a 20 if I remember it's about a 27 mile ride and uh, I had about 35% battery at the end of it. So uh, I'll definitely need to charge today. I suppose I might be able to limp back home. Uh, I have my doubts though. One thing about the, this uh, S16, is it's no uh, it's no 20 inch wheel <laughs> like yesterday I had a 50 mile ride I had a 50 mile suburban ride went out to visit Larry uh, Zarkov had a nice lunch together and uh, you know I rode the links doing a lot of like between 25 and 30 mile per hour riding 50 miles 50 uh, GPS miles and uh, let's see I think I had I gotta check the logs but I had over 30 percent battery at the end of that and uh, but besides the battery issue that regarding the 20 inch Ah, it's it's uh, like the Lynx is so comfortable to ride fast. This wheel, you, some of you may have seen the the, <laughs> the almost cut out from dawn at you know 30 miles an hour, right? I don't want to. I really don't want to ride any 20, any uh, 16, you know, wheel like this. I just don't feel comfortable riding them faster than 25 miles an hour. They're they're just not the most for me they're just not the most stable just think uh, I think uh, I'd rather play a little more conservative particularly at my age <laughs> I don't want to break any more bones if I can help it uh, so for these kind of wheels I just stay under 25 and we're, we're just comfortable and uh, frankly I think that's that's appropriate for this, particularly for the S16. I mean, if it if it can cut out at 31, and by the way, I should say I turned off all safety features on this wheel. Uh, I could have had the tilt back enabled, which would have prevented what happened to Don. Uh, I need that reminds me. I need to turn that back on <laughs> for my own safety. Uh, Yeah, so so if I can get out at 31, I, I want margin, <laughs> and I think I'm going to give myself five miles per hour margin. All right, uh, talk to you more as I get come get along on the ride. Hey, 
I also wanted to mention that um, EUC World now works on the S16. It didn't run out of the box. I guess they're all, and it's not just King Song, they're always changing protocols. And apparently they, with, with some kind of brand new communications module, so EUC, would, EUC World would not connect at all. So I was able to provide some diagnostic information to SIBA and he pushed out an update for me. I'm, I'm a beta user, so it's not in the general, it's not part of the general release, but I'm sure it will be soon. Because I think he's doing another big release coming up. But anyway, now I have, uh, I have uh, full connection. Look at my speeds. And I can look at my speeds in Imperial. It's frustrating that they didn't, there's no, uh, why do they do this? I gotta believe the United States buys an awful lot of wheels <laughs> relative to, to the majority of other countries. It's just my sense of things. Uh, definitely a lot, right? Why don't they support Imperial? I don't care about all you metric weenies out there, which, oh, why don't you, why don't you use metric and foot, feet, inches, that's so archaic. <laughs> I'm doing a Duff, like Duff does an impression of me when I'm talking, so um, I'm just going to turn it around just like you do that to us. I'll go, well, well when you've landed men on the moon, then, then you can talk to us about uh, Imperial. And I know they, of course, the space, even back in the 60s, they were using metric. But the people who put men on the moon grew up in the Imperial measurement system and they survived somehow. Okay, I don't know how I got on that diatribe, but anyway, it's frustrating that on this wheel, for some reason, they disabled, they didn't provide an option to uh, set the front display to Imperial. So, uh, I want to say I'm screwed, but it's not that important to me. But anyway, with EUC World now, I can view my speeds in uh, miles per hour my preferred unit. I can see the temperature. It's wheels running right now, 23 degrees C. I do like metric for the temperature on EUC, EUCs. So it's running nice and cool. Temperatures today where I'm riding, it's in the low 70s. It's January uh, 5th, I think. And uh, check out this. Check out the horn on the, the, the uh, S16. <laughs> it's hilarious, uh, but it, frankly, it comes in handy when I'm uh, I'm closing my uh, helmet so I can use my mirror. It's traffic, but uh, actually, that that horn function it is something I actually do really appreciate with uh, the King Song wheels. They've always had that. I mean, going way back, the first wheel I had from King Song was a 14C. Uh, <laughs> some of you might know, remember that wheel, and that had that that function. Uh, so yeah, you just tap. You, if you're using the King Song wheel, you uh, tap the display or EUC World. I tap the display, and it generates a horn sound. <laughs> which is what you just heard. And you can set the volume on the S16. <laughs> so, uh, it actually comes in handy on bicycle trails or wherever you want to get the attention, someone's attention in front of you to let, let them know that you're about to pass. Uh, you know, so, and the speakers on this wheel are, are pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty loud. <laughs> So I already used it once. The bicyclist in front of me went like that, you know, was, <laughs> and I and I blew it like uh, I don't know, 50 feet behind them. So it was pretty funny.
Hey, as I continue my ride to Roger's place, here's a random, random safety thought. Or not, maybe, no, not safety, courtesy, I guess, but towards future safety. Is, you know, when you're passing, like in the suburban setting, you're riding and uh, there's someone, there's a car parked that, or pulled out into the street a little bit, that's kind of blocking your way, or you have to go around them, and then you, and then they, uh, they see you coming and they back up. Uh, I always wave to them. Uh, I always wave to I, all, everyone who's driving a car that sees me and does something, uh, something to facilitate my safety. I give them a little wave or a peace sign just to acknowledge the favor. I think that, that goes a long way. People appreciate that. It makes me think also on some uh, mountain rides that we do and it's a single lane coming down the mountain uh, and group rides sometimes will we'll, uh, have the opportunity we'll pull off into a turnout and let the traffic that's kind of starting to pile up behind us go by and they all appreciate it. So try not to be an uh, a-hole around uh, people that drive cars. I mean, I know, uh, I know wrong way hates cars, <laughs> but I actually love cars. I, I own cars, I drive them. <laughs> uh, I think most of, the, most of us do. So it's hard to, it's easy to put yourself in the mentality of a car hater when you're riding an EUC, but uh, you know, I also give a lot of people grace that are, that are stuck blocking the, the path because uh, who amongst us has, have not done that where we're, we pull up our car to a street and we're and we're looking or we don't look to the right so we don't even uh, we don't even see people coming up on the right you know I've done it so I, I give people I, you know, I'm not swearing at cars, people that drive cars, <laughs> by and large. It's interesting riding this wheel in this suburban environments like this. I really find myself riding it different than something like the Lynx. And, uh, just to try and save, try and stay safe, because um, you know, on the links or the, my other wheels, I can go. Uh, I'm not a high-speed rider, but still, I can go 25 to 30, 35 miles an hour. Usually closer to 30, but you know, so I can stay with traffic. I can feel comfortable being over in that lane for periods of time. I was doing that a lot yesterday in my Lynx ride. But in this wheel, eh, I looked at, for some reason, I, my top speed was like 27. I'm not sure where that was, but um, I, again, I don't feel comfortable pushing this above, uh, above uh, 25. And so if, if you're trying to ride in traffic and you're keeping your speed under 25 and your cutout speed is 30, nah. That's not a good recipe. So, uh, just another interesting tidbit about uh, riding the, this kind of a wheel versus uh, others. I'm going to sneak over to uh, traffic here. I'm just riding the sidewalk a little bit over that overpass. This road I'm on, it's a shared road, so it has a bicycle graphic on this lane that uh, says it's okay for bicyclists to ride and take up this lane, <laughs> which is what I'm doing. And I am uh, arriving at Roger's place right now. Not too bad time. 57% battery. I 
So you probably have enough battery to uh, to uh, make it back without charging. Hey guys! Made it! Party. Actually, I have enough charge. I can probably make it back. So I'll, I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you later. Don't be putting this on Facebook because I don't have any helmet or. Yeah. Oh, Chris! Gear. Come on! What kind of irresponsible guy know, are you? I'm just that kind of a. So irresponsible. I left my jock strap in the car. <laughs> <laughs> that type Safety rider, first. I guess. Yeah, so you might recognize Chris from the, I guess now infamous ride with uh, Don. Everything about, even the other video I posted, all the comments are about Don and her lack of safety gear. Yeah. What is it with the safety police they out there? They get out there and get their voices. They just have to get their voice heard, you know? as if, as if we haven't heard it all before. Anyway, I'm not going to go down that road. So how was the ride over? Uh, fun, kind of, uh... You were serious. <laughs> if that's accurate, that's usually it uh, dies quicker towards the end. Well, it's 58% I'm on here. That says 56. Yeah, so... Why do you put your hand over? That's so clear to see. You're right, but... Wait, no, that's it, 53. It could say 53. I think that's 53. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, EUC World says less, but anyway. I've been commenting on the video that, uh, like yesterday, I took a road ride to Larry's house. Okay. It was like 25 miles to the LA city and everything, and I was on the links. Mm -hmm. But I could keep up with traffic. I was actually doing a lot of the ride feel good. in the lane, right? And it feels safer. But no, but I mean, I was kind of doing it, but some places where I felt I had to be in the street. Did you just dip? No, oh. but I didn't want to. I'm keeping my speeds about 25 in this wheel. You respect the beeps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. yeah, but yeah. We don't ride the beeps. You, when you said 25, I was like, keeping it below 25, he'll be riding over 25 a lot. I really, my max speed is 27 for some reason. Jeez. I don't know why, but. but yeah, well, I would assume yeah, it felt good. Yeah, that is funny. With the suspension, it's still not that much bigger. So Chris is actually riding. He recently bought this as a, just a kick around wheel. Yeah. In ACM, that wheel back in the day was the most powerful wheel. It was my favorite wheel for like a couple of years because they had various iterations of it. Mm -hmm. And now when I get on that, it feels like my feet are scraping the ground. Uh, <laughs> they do pedal scrape a lot. And, and that, that yes, wheel this is a 1600 watt hour that's a 16. ACM V2, yes. is my guess. It is correct. 87 volt, 84 volt. 84 yeah. volt, yes, correct. And that wheel, probably top speed is 25, maybe. 30. You can go 30 on this? Yeah. I think you're risking things. Right, uh, right. yeah. I don't think so. Do, what is I don't the free spin at? Well, that's what the guy said. Of course, I don't well, push yeah. it that. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I hear a beep, I slow down. So I don't even get that fast. I, I wouldn't. around at 22. Yeah, I, I keep it. That's all I keep it Yeah, at. yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, this is an old wheel. They don't, they don't do cutouts very nicely mm -hmm. or... Uh, they're not used to dips. They don't have traction control. They don't have dip dips. Recovery. Would you stop with that traction <laughs> control? Yeah, no, this is just my put around wheel, but this is yeah. this <laughs> with suspension. I just love it. You like that wheel, right? Wait, this, why funny. does that look different now? Now it's 55. So it was 56. It's climb. No, it's just slowly climbing up. Now it's 54. Now it's 54. Don't move it, and then it'll just slowly. Uh, <laughs> can we can we see if the adapters that I did are, are correct? Well, yeah. Let me uh, get back to you guys in a second. All right. All right. As I uh, said, uh, as intro to this video, I'm coming to this uh, Roger's place to get an adapter cable. He's graciously made me one. Two. Yeah, two. Yeah. Actually, for uh, to be able to charge the S16 because. At this point in life, I, I, I just like fast charging all my, all my wheels, and particularly this guy. So this is funny. I, uh, I grabbed the charger because I wanted to show you the, <laughs> the, the S, uh, 16 charger and the pin out, uh, but of course I grabbed the Lynx charger. <laughs> so oh well. But um, 
so I have a V1 uh, charger, a Roger charger V1, and uh, again, normally Roger doesn't, uh, you don't ship 84 volt cable adapters. You know, I have them in stock. You've done them, if you but ask me for it, I will put it in the box. And uh, the thing is, there are different pinouts for it. So I don't want somebody to get the Bigode style and then they plug it into their scooter, which is oh, usually oh, where things I, get I screwed see. up. I see. And then things go very wrong. But so for EUCs, all EUCs the connectors are pretty, pretty complex, consistent. except for this guy. So uh, this is the charger I had the cable I had for my 84 volt wheel so I could uh, every once in a while ch charge them. I don't, let's see what 84 volt wheels do I have right now. I have two, M I have an M10 3 and an M10 4 and now I've got this guy. And I have the A2. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you. Uh, so, so of course I thought well I'll be sad I'm gonna be able to use this and of course what happens is uh, and I showed you in the other unboxing video is they went with a uh, you probably have the cable. Yeah, I actually, I did it in a little bit of a modified way. So the, the magic number across is 12. This is 12, uh, a 12 millimeter okay. cable, whereas the M104 is uh, 16. And then all of our new wheels are 20. So okay. this looks just like a little baby nothing. Yeah, yeah, so I know. This That's is fun. actually, there's another 84 volt wheel that you forgot to mention, which is the V11 which is the exact same connector ah. as this with three pins. Okay, it is, so it's a little different, yeah, so, all right. Well, some of the companies like to But why? Them. But why did King Song, I don't know, it's just frustrating that they went with that odd. At least they double pinned it, which means I only needed to make you one cable, but I oh. made you two because you seemed concerned. Well, so I, so guys, I want to charge this. The stock charger is five amps, so you could obviously They've designed it so you can at least put ten. two of their chargers to ten. But we think we can. We're going to find out today how fast we can charge yeah. th this guy. Not my wheel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I assume like other King Song wheels, it just it yeah, won't charge once charge. you. Uh, so uh, these cables look so tiny. Yeah, it's funny. And I uh, double pinned those and the wheel. If the wheel is double pinned, each of the pins is rated at five amps. Which each of the pins, okay. Which would mean that uh, you should be able to put 20 amps of, uh, of power into this through the two cords. If you think they're actually using both pin, all well, pins, right? I think they are because the pinout on the thing you showed me showed Oh, it did. The, right. I'm pretty sure. Guys, if I had the, if I bought the charger, I would have shown you, but there well, is where's a, the charger. Roger. <laughs> All right, so I'll let, I'll let Roger, I'll hold the camera, I'll let Roger plug it in, and we'll wait for the sparks. All so, right. oh, now before we proceed, so I have a, I have the V1 charger, Roger charger. Uh, tell us what chargers you are currently selling that could support charging this wheel, so 84 volts. The only ones that'll go low enough are the V3 chargers and the V4 chargers. Um, well, the V1 charger, obviously. I don't I'm, sell I'm, those anymore. Oh, but okay. yeah, any okay. any of <laughs> okay. the previous ones with the little screwy knob for voltage adjustment will do it. So this is the current V4. Um, I am, uh, I don't know, these just don't look pretty. I'm trying to figure out a way to make them look prettier, but these are beastly Rod chargers. Roger, they're, char they're just chargers. They, they don't need All to right. be pretty. Well, but this one... I appreciate that. All right, before the camera abruptly shut off on me, let's see, you were saying... I was saying that there's... So I'm now switching over from Delta to Huawei. So this is a Huawei, and the most powerful one I could get is the 4875, and that's this one. Okay. So there's... Uh, this can go 4,000... 4,000 watts. watts. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So... Which we're not going to do today. But. No. But, uh, well, we could, we could try. <laughs> yeah. it'll, it'll stop before. Uh, but, yeah, this will go okay. way down in the voltage, and uh, this will also... This I Didn't I give you one of these yeah, for the yeah, links? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I have that right now. But uh, I just want to let people know. So they could... Now, the smart charger, that's out of the smart picture for this. Smart charger will not go below 121 so volts unless you get... So I have one that'll go down to 100 volts, yeah, but, but that one goes up to 134. And then I have the one that goes down to 121, and that one goes up to 168. Well, J 
generally, guys, if you want the most universal charger that can do just about anything, it's it's definitely going to be this guy, the V4. So you've confirmed it's 84 volts. Or well, let's do that now. Give it a second. 84.6. That's close enough. Oh, so you don't have to play with the. Oh, you I do already have to. Did before, okay. But now we're going to make sure that the current is all the way down. All right. And now we're going to plug her in and uh, and see what happens. Okay, where's the little nubbin thing is towards us. So I put a little white dot on there to make that a oh, little bit uh, nice easier. I don't like. I'm not a big fan of the position where they put these charge ports on the King Song wheels. Well, it made the noise like I did something. Not more at showing the voltage now. I believe on the charger. Yes, it is seventy-three point nine. So slowly go up to uh, ten amps. Okay, and amps, the front display show, still showing something. Okay, which net? Let's see if it that, that usually, no, it won't bounce when you're plugged in. That usually uh, moves faster, the faster you're charging too, by the way. So let's see if we let's, can make it go blur. Let's put it on uh, <laughs> a better view then for yeah, the camera. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go to 12. I think 12 is the highest you can get on the uh, S22 before it decides to quit. Okay. Although I've heard people say 13. Yep. No, it quit at 12. Okay, so... You, you have now defeated the monster inside the wheel. <laughs> I love that sound. Okay. okay. Let's lower it a bit and see if it kicks back on by itself or if I have to reboot stuff. Uh-oh. Putting it all the way to zero. The wheel's gonna stop destruct, guys. <laughs> what is it doing? I think you're gonna have to cycle, or oh, it's not on. We're gonna have to unplug. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm yeah, unplug there. Yeah. There we go. Wait, wait. Let me, uh, in case it was it turned on. Okay. <laughs> okay. I know. All right, let's try it again, I guess. Get the amps down. The amps are down. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, we get the beeps. We understand beeping. So we'll go to 11 amps, probably. All right. right. 11.2, charging. We're good. All right. All right, yeah. guys. Well, uh, I guess we know the upper limit's just about 12 amps. It's like the S22. Unless the S22 is something different, but that's what mine did to me. So, but still, that this is cool. I can take this. I want to go up to Mount Wilson, so I, I'll be able to charge at 12 amps versus five amps. And uh, uh, another that, little bit of info good. is smaller battery. The uh, 12 amps will do more than it would for. Uh, well, I guess no, because you're going to get more voltage on the S22. It just depends yeah. how many are in parallel. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Okay. Maybe four people. All right, guys, we'll get back to you in a little bit to see how long it took to uh, charge up about 65%, uh, I guess. Looks like we got some bad news, Marty. Uh, see uh -oh. here? 66. <laughs> Wait, percent 66? <laughs> okay. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, my little bar. Wow. Anyway, guys, uh, we were talking, so we lost track of time a little bit, but definitely under an hour, it was uh, charged up to 100%. I'm sure it was probably 45 minutes or so from, you know, 50, 55%. That'll, that'll serve me if I, uh, like, I want to take this up Mount Wilson. I'll probably use it at least probably three quarters of the battery so i'll be able to charge up while we eat lunch and then continue yeah. my the battery my is 50s or do you not know because there's weirdness in the wheel okay so from what jason's told me this was supposed to be a pro that they sent me and that's partially a pro in that again i have no way of without taking the batteries apart it's supposed to have 50s batteries in it all it's missing is the 3,000 watt motor 
and Jason has sent, wanted to send me the 3000 watt motor but I kind of declined because I just got a lot of stuff going on and the idea of having to take apart a wheel to put a new motor on change the tire to the new motor I just I just don't feel like it so and for what I'm doing since I don't want to really ride this wheel much faster than 25 anyway the new motor I don't think I would I would uh, experience my, much with it everybody but, wants to see how to change a motor in a King yeah, Song 16S but guys in six months uh, my S16 YouTube content might make me 20 or 30 bucks. So, um, yeah, this is not a money maker. So, I, I wouldn't mind uh, seeing what this little puppy can do around Fullerton. We'll, uh, yeah, so Roger volunteered to. Damn drag we'll, racing. And we'll do, uh, we'll, we'll get him on the wheel, see if he can cut it out on hills, not on speed. Cut it out. So, thank you very much for the, the new uh, dongles or cable adapters. Roger, appreciate it. They're so tiny. Until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Safe riding.